All right, guys, so today I'm going to talk about rotational aim assist and how I use it or what I know to my knowledge of what it actually does and what it actually is. And you got to understand there's a difference between aim assist when you're just looking left or right and the rotational aim assist like where there's other people moving and your character is rotating where you're using your left stick, not your right stick, but your left stick to rotate your body and get that aim assist on to other people because there is a difference there's two types of aim assist the regular one and then the rotational one and the rotational one on top of the other one really helps you get more aim assist so that you can be able to hit shots easier and just able to control your gun a lot more that's also why a lot of pro players right you go to some pro players videos when they're explaining how they get more kills they say oh uh while, while they're aiming at somebody they move left and right because it gives you more aim assist and i'm kind of going to talk about that today and how that works so i will say too like when i am moving left and right that is also to strafe my body because you don't want to stand exactly in place and shoot or else you're going to get killed but the way the rotational aim assist works is kind of like as you're moving left and right since you're moving your body left and right too it kind of makes the slowdown even slower when you're stuck on the person's body which is kind of weird but if you're able to make that slow down a lot slower on top of moving left and right it kind of uses like two aim assist at the same time which yeah if you're using double the aim assist of what you're supposed to have then you're going to be able to hit more shots and that's also why you're probably not hitting enough shots because you know you're slide canceling stand in place and shoot and these people are like oh they slide cancel and even if they move backwards or like slightly diagonal they're getting a lot more aim assist and a lot more hit markers than you are because you're just pulling up and then shooting like this okay so when you go over like corners and stuff like that if um if an enemy's right there and i want to like pop up right here i'm gonna pop up and i'm gonna go diagonal i'm gonna go like back or diagonal this way and i'm not just gonna pull up and just shoot like that the worst thing you can do so whatever you do uh whether you're just strafing left and right or whether you shoot whether you're shooting somebody far away with uh, ar you always got to make sure that you're moving slightly so that you can activate that rotational aim assist and now i'm, I'm gonna kind of show you it with a person being that i am doing it by myself with nobody to see it so now i'm gonna talk about the rotational aim assist i got a person right here so pretty much as i moved in left and right i'm not touching my right stick at all and you can see the aim assist is still stuck on the person if i'm going right here i'm getting no aim assist at all but if I'm right here, look, I'm going like this, and it's still like locking onto him. Pretty, pretty strong compared to just this right here. And I'm not touching the right stick one bit. So you're getting aim assist while you're touching the person. And then while you're looking at him, the rotational aim assist is just allowing you to stick a lot more. So if you're able to move around while aiming at the same time, you kind of get double that aim assist because you're able to use both of them at the same time. So you aim and you shoot. And that is how you're able to lock on. That's also why I talked about the one thing, right? So I go like around here or around the corner and you pop up and you get double the aim assist. That's because you're rotating to the right side or rotating up here. And as you're moving around, you're able to get that lock on and you're able to snap on the person. That's also even with like uh, ARs or snipers. Let me just go change to an AR real quick. So now I got an AR, same thing. If I'm going backwards, you know, going back here, I'm moving left and right while I'm shooting at him because it gives me more aim assist. I just pop up and shoot like this. If he runs around, it's so much harder to track like this. So run up, I'm moving while I'm looking around and look, I'm still moving like the general directions and it's sticking more to his body. This is just me not like uh, not moving and this is me moving. It's sticking to him more. I'm still moving my thing sporadically, but as I'm moving, it's not as like sporadic in the air where I can't control it. So to be able to use the rotational aim assist and to be able to just get more shots off, you always gotta make sure that your character is moving. And if you wanna try this in like a practice room or just, you know, have somebody just stand there and you kinda get used to the rotational aim assist and see what works and what doesn't, then you can see exactly what I'm talking about and seeing how moving your character around while you're aiming, shooting, and looking at the person is going to give you more aim assist, allow you to hit more shots. And that is why a lot of pro players always move around while they're shooting at people because it allows them to actually get more aim assist and just be a lot more accurate overall i just want to remind you guys that i do hands-on coaching and you can contact me more about that in my discord and all my socials are right here so you can follow me or just stay updated on any other social medias